lot of the conversation about Detroit's future focuses on creating a more inclusive city for all residents. Detroit Design 139 is made up of design experts who are advocating for future investment, development, and design projects that benefit all residents, old and new. I'm joined now by two members of the initiative's advisory committee. Melissa Dittmer is chief design officer for Bedrock, and Olga Stella is executive director of Design Core Detroit. Welcome both of you to American Black Journal. Thanks Thank for you. having us. Yeah. So let's start with what Detroit Design 139 is. Well, it's an initiative actually that uh, Melissa helped uh, form several years ago, two years ago. This is the second uh, edition uh, that's a, an av advocacy um, effort to really help uh, lift up the role of design in the city's revitalization. Yeah. Right. And it is a collaborative advocacy initiative. Mm -hmm. uh, there is no one person or organization that can uh, pull together design strategies for the city. Uh, Detroit is a diverse community, diverse communities across its 139 square miles, and we want to make sure that we have a diversity of voices um, included in the conversations about what makes good design within Detroit's 139 square miles, and then how those designs get interpreted um, throughout each of our communities in the city. Yeah, uh, talk about some of the stakeholders who you've brought together uh, in the first year and now in the second year. For right, this. so, um, we did the first one two years ago, in 2017 now. Um, and at that point, we had uh, a variety of universities, uh, philanthropic organizations, mm -hmm. Design Corps was heavily involved, um, City of Detroit, and um, other sort of architecture advocacy groups like AIA Detroit. Um, and then we learned a lot from that first session. Um, we basically were, testing a case to see if this exhibition would be successful and what type of conversations we would have um, when we pulled all of these architecture, landscape, architecture, and master plan projects together. We learned that we needed to uh, broaden the conversation in the next exhibition, so focused um, on uh, a more inclusive conversation for 2019. That means that we've broadened out um, the amount of people that we have uh, included in the conversation. Mm -hmm. So we have all those stakeholders that we just talked about, plus uh, community organizations, um, business leaders, and um, we've been making sure to have uh, multiple conversations to continually test what we're doing and f get feedback in order to improve as we go forward. Yeah, uh, at Design Corps, you've been working for a while on I think uh, it's maybe best described as getting us to, to kind of understand how right. design influences the way we live in the city. That's right, that's right. And we've been, um, you know, we, in September we put on a whole month of design to help um, the community really experience that, whether they're coming to a workshop or a lecture or a community experience like Light Up Livernoy or Easter Market After Dark, and then ex exhibitions like Detroit Design 139 are a really important part of that because, you know, everybody experiences it and um, learns about it in their own way, whether it's listening to someone speak or actually doing something with their hands. And I think that the part of what we're really excited about for this September um, and this exhibition is that it's not, we're trying to get past it's just a building or it's just a park. It's really about the process. It's about the systems in our city and how people engage. And, um, and the conversation in Detroit is about how does everybody participate? How does everybody get to be part of the city's revitalization? Well, the systems, the places, um, the jobs that are available, all of that you know, feeds into this. Mm -hmm. And I think through the exhibition and through the other things that, um, that we're putting on through Month of Design, we're hoping that it just starts to you know, continue to build that awareness and that people can connect it to something in their own lives. Yeah. Uh, you do hear a lot of people um, complain about uh, the way that the city is changing, uh, both in terms of the way it looks and the way it feels to, to live here, uh, because they feel left out. Mm -hmm. uh, they feel left out of, of the decisions. Uh, talk about how uh, th this program is designed to, to, to make more people feel included. Right. Well, um, in addition 
in addition to having more people and organizations part of the organization and curation of the exhibition, we've also uh, increased the amount of locations where we are having exhibitions. Mm -hmm. So two years ago, we just had um, an exhibition downtown Detroit in our 1001 Woodward space. We're gonna do that again this year, but we're also going to have three satellite locations out in the neighborhoods, uh, one on East Warren, uh, one at uh, Old Redford, and one at the Liv6 uh, DCDC mm -hmm. home base um, that just opened recently on Livernoy. And so, like Olga was saying, um, it's about understanding not just the final product of the built environment, but making sure that we have an inclusive process that includes those communities in those conversations. And what's gonna be interesting with these four different locations is understanding are the processes to get to an inclusive design product different in each of these communities, mm -hmm. or are they the same, and do they result in different projects that may be more specific or special to one neighborhood um, and right for one neighborhood, and how would that be different if you placed that same conversation that got to a different design product or architecture or landscape in a different neighborhood. Yeah. And I think this year, too, we asked for narratives and video. It's not just two-dimensional mm -hmm. pictures mm -hmm. and you know but it's a lot more interactive and there's more I think that we're hoping and once a jury selects the um, submissions that will finally be be installed um, it's a lot more more of a story mm -hmm. for people to engage with um, and a variety I mean there's 140 submissions this year yep. from Detroit and other UNESCO cities of design which I mean is is what is amazing right, right. so there's mm -hmm. there's plenty of work happening from grassroots organizations to big downtown development groups. And I think what's gonna be really wonderful about the exhibition is how we show the connections between those stories mm -hmm. um, in, the, in the different locations. The connection and the balance. Uh, you, you just mentioned the International City of mm -hmm. Design designation that we enjoyed. Ta talk about what that means. Yeah, so Detroit is the only United States uh, city to be uh, designated a UNESCO City of Design, which is part of a network of cities of design um, that are recognized for their legacy of assets, but really about the power that design has in creating a sustainable and equitable city. So mm -hmm. we're talking about it from the perspective of what are the projects and the people in Detroit who are really using design to create better quality of life for all of our residents. And in Detroit, um, what we're trying to do is make, really have Detroit become internationally known as a place for inclusive design. So this exhibition, some other things, we have 50 partners working on over 60 projects across the city. Last year, these projects touched 70,000 people. Mm -hmm. And so there's a lot of momentum here, but design is one of those things that if you you know you feel like if you haven't gone to a fancy art and design school, <laughs> if you you know maybe it's not for me. I don't know if I know what it yeah. is. It doesn't always feel that accessible. And part of what we're trying to do through all the activities we do all year, partnerships with Detroit Design 139 and others, is just help more people really see how it is really part of your everyday life. Yeah. And there are lots of people in your in, in your lives who are maybe designers and you didn't realize that's what they did and the ways that it can just help make a city that works better for you. Yeah, right? I mean, I, I kind of like to think of design as uh, if people are not comfortable with that word, uh, talking about intentionality, yeah. right? right? The idea yeah. of intentionality of design, but also of process, mm -hmm. as, yeah. as you're saying, that yep. uh, really talking about the way things should be from the perspective of the people who are affected That's by exactly it. Right. Right. That's exactly and right. And then having a conversation about it as well. So yeah. we can have both a, a design outcome or an intentionality of a design outcome and a process by which we are all talking about what design means to every individual um, and what their outcomes are. And so that's the second part of having this exhibition that um, in all these four locations they, that will run for the entire month of September. We're making sure uh, this year that we activate each of these spaces with quality programs and events that can bring different um, interested parties or community members or uh, uh, age demographics, uh, 
into the space mm -hmm. to look at the work and then talk about uh, what design means to them and how it can improve their community. Mm -hmm. yeah. yeah, it's been great. I mean, this is why having this advisory board is so important because community development advocates of Detroit yep. is involved, Detroit Future City is involved, all the universities. There's just a lot of participation. A lot of different entry points for yeah. Detroiters. Right. And right. so then, then so then the programming is really it's not you know it's not uh, it's not like stuffy you know <laughs> um, like architecture speak, but really about I think that discourse is what is so important because just because something looks beautiful doesn't mean it works for everyone. Yeah. And getting or past everywhere. that, right. or yeah. everywhere. Right. And so getting past that, the idea of, oh, it has to look a certain way. Mm -hmm. It's not about the materials, it's not about how it looks, it's really about how it works yeah. and what that means in different neighborhoods and different places. Yeah. Right. Yeah. Well, uh, the, I'm great. Yeah, oh, go, go ahead. ahead. <laughs> I was say, we could go on for days, right. yes, we but uh, we're out of time. So, congratulations on the work and thanks for being here. Thank you Thank very you. much. Yeah. Thanks for having us.